to session two of home cardio with Rob Elkin, uh, or running with Rob. Um, today we're going to step it up. Last week we looked at 45 second intervals, a few different activities. Today we're going to do 10 different activities for 30 seconds each, and over the 30 second rest period after that, uh, five minutes, uh, and then we're going to repeat that three times. Okay, again, cardiovascular endurance, just looking, can we keep going at a similar speed throughout the whole thing? Key thing today, looking at our posture. Okay, so obviously we want to, when we're running, Okay, we want our head looking forward to so not down at the ground, not too far up in there, just a nice focus on in the distance, okay, look, pick something, look at it, okay, and run towards it. Okay, when you're running, we don't want to clench our fists, okay, we want our arms and uh, wrists, hands nice and loose, okay, just the side of our body, okay, keep your legs beneath, okay, a nice little knee bend, okay, an effective stride, so not taking too little steps or too big. Next thing, you want your shoulders relaxed, you don't want them too forward or too too far back, just nice and relaxed, okay, feel nice and comfortable in your running position, okay, you want your torso, so you want to stand nice and tall and proud, okay, so we're upright, okay, so that almost propels us forward with that stride, um, and then we're going to try and land quite lightly, okay, and spin the uh, heel of our foot and our midfoot, okay, so we're not on our toes, not landing on our heel, it's in between, okay, so we've got 10 activities, some of them we'll be familiar with from last week, um, those of you who took part. Okay, so the first one's a nice high knees. Okay, so I'll talk you through them now before we start the warm. Okay, so high knees, so we're looking, can we just get our knee up? So if our hands are out in front, our knee would just come up, okay, 90 degree angle and just touch our hands. Okay, nice and light. Okay, next one is a little skiing motion. Okay, so you're going to try and take as big a stride as possible. Okay, so if I step back. Okay, all we're looking for is, okay, can we bounce off our feet? Nice strides like that. Okay, keeping our body nice and controlled, okay, so that we're not toppling over. Okay, next one, um, you might need a couple of bits of equipment this morning. Okay, next one is a little ball toss. Okay, so I'm going to use a tennis ball. Okay, I've got a tennis ball, um, roll up a pair of socks and use that. And all you're going to do, as you're running, you're just going to look, keep your head looking forward. You're just going to look, try and keep your arms out as though you were running. Okay, using your arms for balance. Just trying to throw the ball to each hand as you're moving forward. Okay, so that's all we're looking for. Okay, if you haven't got a tennis ball, like I said, roll up an old pair of socks. Perfect. Okay, next one we're going to look at a little weight carry. Okay, so as we're running, okay, you need to be carrying something. It could be a bag of shopping, it could be a couple of bags of flour. Okay, I'm just going to use a sandbag for this. Okay, and you're going to keep it okay, between sort of your, your hips and your chest, in that area, so your arms, okay, getting used to being out in front of you in that position. And all I'm looking to do is run with the bag like that, okay. Still keeping the same posture, okay, so we're not leaning back, we're not leaning forward too much, which is nice. Okay, and we can move into that motion. Okay, next one is number five. Okay, it's heel flicks from last week. Okay, so can we put our hands down? Can we get our heels up and kick our backside? Next one we're looking, so activity six, we're looking at a little running lunge. Okay, so as we're moving, okay, it's just a little lunge. Okay, so we're just lunging forward. Okay, the knee doesn't touch the floor. Okay, it just goes down, it's nice and controlled. Our body's still in that good posture position. Okay. Next one again, we did last week, nice short strides. Okay, so as you're moving, lots of little steps. Okay, again, looking forward, keeping our arms out at the side, very little movement in the body, okay, nice and fluid. Okay, number eight, looking at squats again from last week. Okay, so down into a nice squat, we jump up, and we move again, try and keep that momentum going forward. Okay, our next one is we're just looking, can we run on the balls of our feet? Okay, so just that little area there of our foot. Okay, so as we're running, we're just on that part of the foot. Just on the balls of the feet. Okay, just pushing off nice and light. It should be a little spring up off the floor. Okay, arms out for balance at the side. Okay, and then finally, number 10, we're going for a quick, as quick as we can. Okay, so we get from one cone to the other as quick as we can. Okay, and then we come back. Okay, so we've got an area that's roughly about 12 yards. Okay, from first cone to second cone, and we're just going to look at we're doing, looking at shuttles today. And okay, next week we're going to move it on a bit and use some different terrain. Okay, but today we're just looking at a 12 yard. Distance. Okay, so first of all, we want to get ourselves nice and warm. Okay, so between your cones, we're just going to look to have a little jog and then change the movements just for two or three minutes before we move into these 10 activities. up to you if you want to go round the cone or whether you want to stop and turn. Got 
see variations. Now this time we're going to change it into a high skip. It's nice and light on the balls of our feet using our arms for the drive. Looking forward at all times. Okay, now we're just going to go for a bit of running on the spot. Okay, so still looking forward. <coughs> arms out at the side, not clenched fists. Okay, so our arms are nice and loose. Okay. Feet just touching the floor, then springing up off it. Okay, looking forward, can we go a little bit quicker? A little bit quicker still. Okay, and just back into a job. This time all I want every few steps, it's just going to be a little open the gate. Okay, so it's up and over, knee drives up, comes over, okay, it's working over all Okay, now we're going to go the other way, okay, so we're going to close this up and over from the outside. This knee goes out and it brings it round back into midline of the body. This time we're looking, okay, a little kick up to the body, okay, so hand out, waist high, opposite foot comes up, okay, and gives it a little kick. And just a little jump to finish. Okay, can we run on spot? We've got 15 seconds. Okay, still looking forward, arms. And there, okay, shoulders relaxed. Standing nice and tall. Okay, chest pushing out slightly, okay, to give us that little lean. Okay, heads looking forward, focusing on where we're running to. And hold it there. Okay. Now have a little hydrate before we start. Okay, now we're going through our 10 activities. Again, the aim is cardiovascular endurance. Try and keep going at a similar speed throughout. Okay, you don't want to burn out too early. Then you don't want loads of energy left at the end. You want it to be a good workout. Okay, so give it a go. 10 activities, 30 seconds each for 5 minutes. Then have a 30 second break. 
Let's have a go. Onto a little ball toss side we're moving, we're just throwing it side to side. So, as you can see, as I'm running, I'm looking forward and not looking at the ball at all. In this one, our arms should barely move, the head's looking forward. Change to a weighted carry. Okay, so something with a weight. Okay, just put it in between your hips and chest. And let's have a go. Okay, so the head's still looking forward. Next one, heel flicks like last week. Heel up, kick our back side. This one you're looking at, heel flicks. Okay, same as last week. Heel up, try and kick your back side. Okay, next we're looking at a little running lunge. You get to every few steps, just take a lunge. Okay, so your body should still be nice and controlled and be able to spring up from it. To make that one a little bit more difficult, okay, you could just go straight in, no step in the middle. We'll try that next time. Okay, this one, short strides, okay, lots of little step steps from here to the end, arms out again, head looking forward.
Okay, next one. Okay, we're into a squat. Just down and just bounce up from it. Next one, you're looking on the balls of your feet. Okay, so nice big strides. Okay, just bounce it up nice and light off the balls of your feet. Okay, toes shouldn't get any further, further ahead than your body. So as you land, okay, shoulders and chest should still be in front of your feet. And finally, our last 30 seconds, okay, it's as fast as you can. So from one time to the other, as quick as you can. If you do this indoors on here, yeah, just make sure you've got a little bit of run off behind, okay, to allow you to turn around. And hold it there, fantastic work guys. That's the end of set one. Grab yourself a quick drink, 30 seconds. Get ready for set two. Okay, hope we're all okay after set one. Now you can move into set two. Exactly the same 10 activities, 30 seconds each. And then you get another 30 second break at the end of that. All the best.
awesome work guys. That's the end of set two. You'll notice there are a couple of little changes in there. In terms of I've got rid of the tennis ball, brought in a little medicine ball. Okay, just two kilos, a little bit heavier. Okay, forces you then. Okay, to keep your arms in that position so you're not going out there. You're not coming in too close. Okay, so your arms pretty much don't move. Okay, and then the other one is the little running lunge, the two variations. There with a few steps. Or it's there, spring up straight into the next one. You choose which you want to do. If you haven't got a medicine ball, bag of flour, bag of sugar, that'll do the trick. 30 second break, grab a quick drink and we'll come back for the last set. Okay, all, we're here, third and final set of session two. Okay, let's give it our all and see what happens. Enjoy.
That's the end of set three guys, grab yourself a drink, we'll come back for a cool down. Welcome back guys, hopefully you're all still feeling good. We're going to go through a little cool down, a few little static stretches, and then obviously recap what we've looked at today. Okay, so start off with just a slow jog just between the two cones. Sometimes a few little kick throughs, go to opposite legs, opposite hand, hand out, jog length, foot comes up, just touches the hand. This time it's a little walk down and a walk back. Okay, as we come back up, just a few little kick throughs now. Just a little kick through. And then stop when you get back to the show. Okay, again, same as last week. Just try and push your knee down towards the ground, feel that stretch in the floor. And swap legs. And just shake it off. Okay, this time, let's have a little seat on the floor. Okay, I'm just going to try and reach out and touch your toes. And just shake them off a little bit. And then this time, I'm going to just try and reach a little bit further. Off again. And finally, I'll reach as far as you can. And shake it. Okay, last one for today. Just lie down on your back. 
bent leg, this one crosses over, and I'm just gonna pull this leg towards that head. Now I'm talking through the next bit, feel free to have any, do any stretches that you feel you need. <coughs> okay, so the aim obviously of these sessions, looking at cardiovascular endurance, stuff that you can do at home with minimal equipment, minimal space. Um, all of you today really, two cones, 12 yards, something you can throw and something that you can carry that's got a bit of weight to it. Uh, the key focus has been obviously looking at our posture, okay, so keeping our head looking forward, okay, focusing on something that we're running towards. So we're not looking at the ground, we're not looking into the sky, looking straight ahead. Okay, our fists aren't clenched, okay, wrists are, wrists are fairly, um, fairly stiff, obviously our hands are out, okay, giving us that bit of balance. Okay, elbows again, 90 degrees. You want to have your legs, okay, opening hips, so as you stride in, okay, your legs aren't too far out in front of you, or too far behind you, okay, they're level with you, so your, your chest should just be, okay, and you your chest, knee, just in front of your toes. Okay, shoulders relaxed, we don't want the back or two things forward. Nice and relaxed, it allows that motion okay, when we're striding. Okay, and we're standing quite tall so we're not bent over, uh, hunched over, okay, or leaning too far back. We're in a nice position okay, and we're landing lightly on our feet. So it's not a okay, foot on the floor, it's quite light on our toes moving forward. Okay, next week for session three, okay, we're going to look at introducing some hills. Okay, so if you've got any hills near you, they'll come in useful. If not, Okay, we're going to use the flight of stairs. And um, hopefully enjoy what the sports department are doing. Okay, so now two sessions on home cardio for myself. We've had a resistance training session from Simon King. Uh, Dan Ingram's done a boxer size session, and Craig Edwards has done a hit session at home as well. Okay, so hopefully they're useful, getting you involved, okay, and giving you little ideas of what you can do whilst you're, we're on lockdown. Okay, as always, any questions or any feedback, feel free to get in touch. Thanks for watching, see you next week.